Hi, in this video we will be creating this valley scene. This tutorial video will be for a beginner to intermediate blender user. We will be starting with creating a landscape using the ANT landscape add-on which comes with the blender. You just need to activate it from preferences. And here I have chosen this large terrain preset for this scene with the default settings on. Create a camera and press Ctrl plus Alt plus numpad 0 to align camera to view. And then you can adjust camera to a nice viewpoint. I will be using the Cycles Render Engine for this scene. And also Nishita Sky Texture for environment lights. We do not need sharp sunlight for this scene. So I have dropped the sun intensity value to 0 0.150 and also adjusted the rotation settings. You can set whatever looks good to you. Mine are these. And for the texturing part, I will be creating a new material on the landscape and load all the textures at once by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus T while the principal BSDF is selected. And then, as you can see, all the selected texture maps are loaded and properly connected. But keep in mind that Node Wrangler add-on needs to be enabled before trying this shortcut. And then, if your landscape is not UV unwrapped, press U in edit mode and select project from view bounds while you are in top view and then increase the scale of the texture in mapping node. I am scaling it to 50. It looks good to me for now. I will also be dropping some specular value as I do not want ground to be reflective. And now it's time to scatter some trees on the landscape. And for this I am using Nisarga ultimate version. Either you can purchase the ultimate version or if you want some free assets you can get the Nisarga trial version for free. You will be getting 12 free assets with the trial version. For this scene, I have used Bradford Pier, but if you are using the trial version, you can use Black Gum Tree. It will work fine too for this scene. And after selecting the asset, I will be using the Nisarga scatter system, which comes for free with the trial version. It is exactly the same for the trial version too. So to use the scatter system, select the landscape as the scatter surface. And then I will be clicking on scatter button and a pop-up menu will appear. And here you can alter the basic scatter settings before scattering. So that if your geometry is high poly, your viewport does not get hanged. You can try experimenting different values. For now I have gone with these values. And as you can see the scale is still too much. So I will be reducing the scale to about 0 0.020. And now as you can see it is looking pretty fine. And then I will be adding some randomness to the rotation of the trees. And now let's add camera cooling mask as this will optimize render time and also the viewport performance as all of those instances which are out of the camera will be clipped. So for this just select the camera and increase the padding a little bit to keep safe margin so that the trees do not flicker on the borders due to clipping. And this looks fine. Now let's try a render but wait. Before that we need to configure some settings like enable the mist pass and also enable the denoising in the render passes. And we need to adjust start and depth of the mist pass in the world tab. Now let's take a quick render and see what it looks like. It is looking awesome but something is missing. It's volumetric mist. Mist adds extra level of depth to the scene. So for the mist, I will be using a cube and apply a simple volumetric material on it. But before that, let's adjust the scale of this cube. I will be scaling it along X and Y axis. Press the S key to scale and then press Shift Z to lock Z axis. And now let's jump into the sharing tab. And here create a new material and delete the default principal PSDF node as we won't require it. Instead, add principled volume node. And we would require a few more nodes to add the detail to the misty clouds. And for that, let's add noise texture and also the gradient texture node. Press Ctrl plus T to add mapping and texture coordinate node to the gradient texture. And we would also require color ramp to control the contrast of noise texture and gradient texture. And also we would be multiplying both these textures, so we would require a math node for that. And now connect these two color ramps to the math node and change the operation from add to multiply. And then connect that math node to density and emission strength. 
and as we can't keep the same values for the density and emission we want to be able to adjust the strength individually and for that add two more math nodes and switch to multiply and connect one between density socket and one between emission socket connection and now let's get back to the noise texture and take a look at what the shader setup looks like till now we would need more adjustments to this so first of all let's increase the scale of this noise texture to 15 so that mist looks more detailed and also let's increase the contrast of the noise texture to bring out that detail and we would also need to increase the contrast of the gradient texture and as you can see the gradient texture is not in the right direction is we do not want it to be from any sides is this will cause the visible clipping of mist in the camera we want it to be circular and that too in the center of the cube so for this we do need to change this to spherical and as soon as you change it to spherical you can see that again it's not correctly positioned so to fix this you need to change the location in the mapping node just displace this texture by minus of 0.5 and this will work in this case this is it the shader for fog is complete and it looks fine to me now let's animate our camera and for camera animation I wanted a very slow cinematic movement of the camera and for this I just added a location and rotation keyframe on the first frame and then just jump to the last frame and move the camera to the side a little bit and then again inserted a keyframe. This is matter of your choice and you can animate the camera as you wish and what looks good to you. And now let's hit a render again and see what our mist looks like and then we will start compositing to make this scene look even better. So in the compositing window I have already connected the denoise node and here first of all we will be starting with combining the mist pass with the rendered image and for this we would require one more denoise node to denoise the mist pass and then we will need a mix RGB node and now connect the mist pass to the factor of the mix RGB node and as you can see the mist is too much so to control the mist we would need the color ramp drop the color ramp on the mist to factor connection and it will automatically connect and then increase the contrast by bringing back blacks closer and also add another slider with lower strength to control the mist a bit more and then it is looking a much better but the mist is still too much we can reduce it with a math node change the operation to multiply and multiply it with the lesser values like 0.1 and this made it even more realistic you can also try changing the color of the mist or try color balancing the whole scene and that's a creative choice I have added a very slight blue tint to the mist pass and also to the volumetric mist and then I just took this whole animation to after effects for further compositing and there I cleaned it further by denoising one more time using neat video denoiser and also played with colors and added lens flare effects using video copilot optical flares plugin you can try different settings like keeping a more intense mist or playing with colors to generate a more varied mood in the scene and if you wanted to get complete scene files you can follow the link in the description and if you wanted to purchase the Nisarga add-on it is going on summer sale we are giving 15% off on the blender market and gumroad using coupon code summer sale 22 and 25% on davoxel.com if you do like the video press the like and subscribe button and if you want more tutorials like this comment down below thank you very much for watching this video